Stephen Fennick, editor of Tech Guide. It is time to step inside the tech tent, mate. You are the Marco Polo of the tech world, of course, buddy. How are you? Yeah, I'm going well, mate. How are you, Timmy? Yeah, I'm good. When did you get back? Uh, I got back on Wednesday night. I was in Malta last week, as you know. Yeah, I got home Wednesday night. Back in the zone. Back, back to work. Back Business to a, as usual, mate. Back to a firm diet, no doubt. Now, the technology <laughs> uh, that can help... Now, this is really interesting, isn't it, with, uh, of course, the league starting up and you weren't happy with the result against Penrith the other night, but we'll talk about that a little later. This technology that can help monitor the effects of concussion in sport and help create a safe path to return to play. Yeah, that's right. Now, this, this technology is called Neuroflex. Um, uh, it's actually going to be implemented in the South Sydney Juniors where they're going to use this technology to test more than 3,000 players 12 and over. Now, the, the idea behind the technology is to, to test the player and establish their healthy baseline. So it creates a set of data. The, the test uses the VR headset, as you can see, and it's eye-tracking technology. that It's a multimodal test that, that builds up a data set that shows your healthy brain levels. And that data is stored. And so if in the future there is an incident with concussion, then you take the test again and you're able then to see if there are any changes, any major changes to your baseline. And that will then give the medical staff the uh, a clearer picture of the how, how long you need to recover to get back to play safely. At the moment, it's we're relying on a lot of subjective information where it's it's literally a, like follow my finger, remember some words. Uh, it's also relying on a lot of players' honesty as well because the, the, the medical staff will say, how are you feeling? The, the player's desperate to play again, might not mention the fact they've had headaches the whole week and they'll say, yeah, I'm good to go, and they're back on the field. With Neuroflex, it takes all of that out. It, it's objective data black and white, that you can't fudge it. It's it's there for all to see. So uh, this is something that's going to be used in South Sydney Juniors. I'm still very much involved in the South Sydney Juniors. I played in the South Sydney Juniors, played for Souths. And uh, my family, as you know, We've we've got skin in the game with this, with with the effects of the game that's had on my brother Mario. So um, I'm I'm going to be quite active in 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 spreading the word on Neuroflex. Uh, it, it's it's going to be something that can could even be implemented in the NRL. The test takes eight minutes. Could even be used HIA uh, at you know, pitch side uh, during an NRL game. Well, that'd be fantastic. So let, let's stay across that uh, on the course of. Uh, the year in this segment as well. Keep us posted mm -hmm. on, on developments there yeah. and how it does go with South Juniors because it was a talking point last night. It's a talking point this morning, Clint Gutherson yeah. and, and Parramatta are upset because yeah. when he was off the field, they, they, they let in a few tries. Yeah, and it's also too. There's, there was news uh, earlier this week about some AFL players taking the AFL to court over over their brain injuries over the years. And I think uh, the 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 game, the any contact sport, whether it's league, soccer, AFL, I think that we, as a duty of care for the sports, but also to offer parents peace of mind as well. Like the the stance we're taking in the South Sydney Juniors is that. We want parents to have peace of mind knowing that their child's safety is of the utmost importance. We want uh, we want them to be to feel comfortable playing rugby league, whether you're a young boy, young girl. Uh, and, and and this isn't a knee-jerk reaction to any kind of you know incidents of concussion in the junior league in South Sydney. It, it, it's, it's, it's almost non-existent. But Souths want to have this in place to make sure that moving forward, that information can follow the player, whether they might go into play first grade in the NRL, they've still got this, this valuable information to show their brain health and if there are any effects or any, any concussions later in their career, they can easily monitor how far they are from their healthy baseline. Yeah, that's a positive step. It really is. Now, now changing subjects, tell me more about NRG Vault. Yeah, uh, this is a product from Laser, this is the Australian tech company. The NRG Vault is their latest brand. It's it's a portable power bank. So you think of, uh, I'm sure you, you've maybe carried around a portable battery to charge your phone up occasionally. Well, imagine that on steroids. This is a, a power unit that you can take with you. Campers, caravanners, ideal for them, provides power not only 12 volt power, but a proper AC power to charge mini fridges, uh, any kind of lights, 
any product that they happen to have with them and could even be used as a backup at, at home in the event of a blackout. Uh, how many times have you heard of uh, incidents where they, they, they got a blackout, the fridge, fridge, all the food in the fridge is about to spoil with the NRG Vault? You, you can actually plug your fridge into these things and be able to then keep your food from spoiling. And even think of things like remote workers, tradies, being able to power all their tools, all their equipment using the, the NRG Vault as well. So uh, it, it's a great solution if you want to get, get off the grid yet have all the power that you need without without uh, missing out on all those mod cons if you want to take them with you, whether it's your mini fridge, you want to have your lights, power your drone, charge your laptop, charge your phone about 75 times as well with this battery as well. So it's uh it's it's a growing uh, really uh, growing in popularity these sorts of products because uh we we're we're a tech society we've got a lot of mm. products that we want to take with us a lot of stuff we want to keep powered up but uh yeah these these, these are gonna these are already on the market they they start at 599 dollars for the the 500 with that's got 2288 watt hours uh and the the larger one is 1799 and that's got 1228 watt hours as well so you can run a fridge for two days on the on the main one uh, and, and as, as well as power numerous other products. Yeah, that sounds like a beauty. We'll catch up again next week. Look forward to it. Thanks, Timmy.